Ross back with you on Dunlop Creek, but this time we're down at 112th Avenue. A lot more creek to the creek right here, as it were. And we can have a look along here. This is prime coal habitat. It's the perfect place, whether you're an adult spawning here in November or December. This is the place to come to see adult coho spawn. Or a juvenile, it's got that pool riffle, sort of one-to-one -one configuration. The pool's obviously back there, slow and kind of flat, a little deeper. And your riffles, which is where the creek gets the oxygen. And it's about a 1% grade. There's good areas of spawning gravel. And again, nice riparian cover all the way along here. Of course, anytime you have a creek that flows through a fairly steep ravine, as this one does through this section, things tend to happen during our winters. January 31st, 160 millimeters of rain in just over 36 hours. And that happened. So quite impressive. Of course, at this location and a number of others on its journey from Upper Dudney Track down to Kanaka, the creek flows under a number of roads through culvert crossings such as this one. And we're going to look at a project that was done over 20 years ago, 22 as a matter of fact, where there used to be a drop of coming out of this culvert you see right over here to your right. And it was a bit of a barrier to upstream fish passage, so some volunteers came in in 1998 and made a series of rock weirs, and obviously they've kind of moved over time, but they've also captured a number of other materials, and there's some wood debris right there, which as we know is perfect habitat. And the drop time out of the culvert to this day is a piece of cake if you're an upstream mag migrating cut coho adult or juvenile. Did I see cutthroat? Cutthroat as well. So if we look down Dunlop Creek at 112th, beautiful afternoon, and let's go for a ride down to 110th. 